Hey YouTubers, this is Bob. Well, it's so good to be back with you. Well, um, you know, I get a lot of letters about a lot of themes that seem to be recurring. And so um, I've been getting a lot of letters asking me um, about magical protection, about charms, about magical charms. And so I thought I would do, a, you know, a series here also on magical charms. Um, a lot of you have been noticing in my videos that I'm wearing this pendant. You said, is that a little, like, what is that thing you're wearing? Is that like a little spike or something? It's actually a horn. I don't know if you guys can see it here. Uh, it's made of silver, uh, and it's called an Italian horn. And the Italian horn um, is an old, old Italian magical charm. Um, they used to have an old saying, and it's they, people used to say to each other, may you stay safe between the horns. And that came from, um, you know, um, the reference to the goddess originally, because the crescent moon was often portrayed as a symbol of the goddess. So if you were standing in the middle of the crescent moon, that meant you were between the horns of the moon, meant you were near the goddess and that you'd be safe. Um, and interestingly, over time, that phrase, you know, may you be safe in the horns, um, got to translated to people starting to wear little horn pendants. Um, some people wore crescents, but then that became suspect uh, because the Catholic Church didn't like that. So they started changing it to a symbol that nobody would, would know what that meant, and they started wearing these little horns. Well, then also in the Wiccan tradition, um, you know, there's also the horned lord. And in Italian witchcraft, uh, that horned lord is known as Pan. And um, anyways, Pan is always shown with horns. And so there's the horned lord and the lady. And the symbol of the lady is the crescent. And the symbol of the lord is the horns. So um, the pendant started to be uh, seen as a symbol of Pan as well for protection, the horn symbol. So it became known as Italian horn because it originated out of Italy. Now these little pendants are still very, very popular in Italy today. And you can still get them in the United States. Um, and if you know an area that has a large Italian community, that's where you can get them here. So oh, hold on, let me grab this here. I forgot. I also keep one here in my office. Um, and this is a large one. Um, it's for protection, and I hang it on the wall. It has a crown on. It's called a crown horn. But uh, you can see the kind of shape is like, you know, curvy, like a horn. Um, and it's just a larger version of like my pendant. I'm a big believer in the horn, because whenever I've been attacked, the horn uh, it seems to work. You know, I was going down the street, um, and I had a gang of guys, it was ten guys, tried to uh, block me, and they were about to jump me. Um, and I had my horn, interestingly, under my shirt. And I just reached in and touched it, and I pulled it out. Now, in most cases, I would not be showing my jewelry in the middle of attack. Uh, that will certainly get you mugged. But in this case, I felt led to do it. And I was wearing my horn, and I just held it here. And suddenly, they just looked at me, and they backed off. Well, I became a believer in the horn after that. So I wear my Italian horn charm in honor of the great god Pan, and also for the old uh, symbol of the crescent, the horns of the moon. Okay. Um, also, in um, you know, if you think about in our Thanksgiving tradition, they talk about the horn of plenty, and the horn of plenty. You know, it usually shows like a horn-shaped basket with fruit coming out. Well, that comes also from the horn symbol, which is protection. In the old days, they used to you know, open up the ends of horns, and they would fill them with fruits and, and vegetables. Um, there were horned drinking glasses. So the symbol of the horn goes back thousands of years. And it's um, in many cultures. And in fact, if you look at the, uh, the Viking helmets, you see movies with the Vikings. Well, those are the horn helmets to represent protection of the Lord, of the God, of the horned Lord. So anyways, guys, um, you know, you might want to get yourselves a little horned pendant. Uh, they can be in any material. The original uh, pendants were done in um, coral, red coral, and you can still find them in though it's harder. Um, and then they became done in silver 
to represent the silver of the moon. And nowadays they're done in also gold, so you'll find them in a lot of things, and they can be in any metal or material, really. But they'll all look pretty much, you know, with the similar horn-shaped symbol. And you can get these large horns uh, to hang on your wall. And anyways, I'll put some links down here, and you guys check it out. Anyways, guys, oh, one other thing I forgot to tell you. Also, if you're feeling endangered, you can invoke the power of the Horned Lord. And that's done by this hand symbol, um, where you bend down your two middle fingers under the thumb, and you put out your little finger and your pointer finger. And this represents, in the old symbol, it's like the head of the Horned Lord. So, you, you know, what you do is you point that at people if you think they're going to attack you. And that's another thing you can do. If you feel there's evil, like in your house, just point your finger and invoke the power of the Horned Lord. And I guarantee you, you'll start to see some changes. Okay. Well, guys, I hope this video has been helpful for you. So pick up your little horn uh, if you feel called to do that. And try it out. Okay, well, this is Bob Hickman, and this has been my series on magical charms.